morning guys we're cooking tawilis fish it's the fish that's found in the al lake again so this is tawilis fish being deep fried if you deep fry tawilis fish you will end up with some very crispy and crunchy little fishes and of course you can use some breading and in our case we use tasty boy chicken bread yes and uh, if you don't have that you can use flour or cornstarch or flour <laughs> of course cornstarch it's good to see you happy Now, so you can fish for tawilis depending on the year and uh, we were fortunate enough to have purchased some tawilis from the market so this is a very delicious fish and it's only found in Taalle so that's the reason why fishing uh, the fishing of tawilis tawilis <laughs> no, it's tawilis fish has been controlled so this is a very rare and delicious fish Okay, so we have a plate here full of fried tawilis. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's crunchy, yes. Yeah? Okay. Bite. Take a bite again. Take a, this one. How about this one? Yeah, yeah this, this, is, this is how it looks. The crispy tawilis fish. Mm, crunchy and delicious. It's got that amazing umami flavor and you can get that only from this fish. So it's it's like a freshwater sardine and it's indigenous in Taal Lake. You, can, you can't find this fish anywhere else in the world. It's only found in Taal Lake. And if you're if you've heard the Taal volcano has recently erupted and uh, it was thought that the fish would become extinct but fortunately they're still alive thriving in the lake okay it's eating time fish from Taal Lake okay I find it hard to say Tawilis fish because I keep saying Tawilish fish Tawilis 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 it's one of the crunchiest fishes here in the Philippines and it's only found in Taal Lake and if you're not familiar with Taal Lake Taal Lake is the lake here in the Philippines with the volcano right in the middle and it recently exploded this January and for a while, it was thought that this fish, Tawilis, would become extinct. So they made will, some loss. It will come extinct because you just cooked it. Well, no, it's uh, seasonal. So you can't always buy this. You can't always fish for Tawilis. So this is why we're fortunate to have some on our table because I guess they allowed fishing again. So this is a very hardy fish. It survived the eruptions of the volcano. Okay, and it's well, one of the crunchiest like fishes around. Look. Oh, sorry, I was trying to This is vinegar. Yeah, vinegar. I'm going to eat. What's this? What's this pink thing? Mm. Oh, wait, no, that's my finger. Mm. One of the crunchiest fishes around. Isn't that? Wow. Hey, you put some on my plate. Mm, Can I yeah. have one? Can I have one? Excellent. Wait, can you hold it? Mm. 
Can I hold it? Can you hold it? I want to try one. Here. So, if you ever have the chance to visit the Philippines, try to get a taste of Tawilis fish. So it's rare, kind of rare. Ah, Perfect. Are the bones? Yeah, you can eat the bones. Oh. So crunchy. Mm. That so it's like weird. a salt water, I mean a fresh water sardine. It tastes weird. <coughs> Ow. So, the food bloggers out there, <coughs> if ever you get the chance, eat Tawilis fish. I don't want to eat the tail. I can eat the tail, watch. Mm. Perfect. So crunchy. So flavorful. I found a perfect one with no mm. eyes. Get this fly. Mm. Just dip it in vinegar. Add some chili. Mmm. Can you dip it for me? Why oh, spicy? Oh, never mind. Ew! <laughs> so, I hope you like this episode. This short episode of us cooking tag with this fish. Mm. It's really a tongue twister. I try to say it over and over. Tag with this fish, tag with this fish. Tawilis fish, Tawilis fish. <laughs> Tawil. <laughs> okay, here's Yana eating Tawilis. Tawilis. See that? Tawilis. Oh. Tawilis. Mm. Let's go now. Eating Tawilis. Let's go. Eating Tawilis. Okay, it's done. It's done. You know the smallest fish in the world? It used to be found here in the Philippines, in Biko. But it's now extinct because of overfishing. It's this small, the pandaka fish. Let's protect this fish.